North Korea has denounced the latest UN sanctions against it, vowing to take action in response. Earlier, South Korea's President Moon spoke by phone with President Trump, the two leaders agreeing to continue putting pressure on Pyongyang over its nuclear program. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, speaking at a forum in the Philippines, said the support of China and Russia for the sanctions sent a strong message to North Korea. We're not going to give someone a specific number of days or weeks. This is really about the spirit of these talks. and They can demonstrate they're ready to sit with the spirit of, of finding a way forward in these talks by no longer conducting these missile tests. Uh, so this is not, uh, give me 30 days and we're ready to talk. It's not quite that simple. But there's no sign of an opening towards dialogue from North Korea. Despite a warning from China and a face-to-face -face meeting with his South Korean counterpart, Pyongyang's foreign minister reportedly rejected the proposal for talks, and state media have since angrily dismissed the UN sanctions.